job. Don't do that. Holy moly. <sighs> Good morning, modern stutters. I know you're not going to want to hear it, but yeah. It's raining out again. <sighs> How are your turkeys doing? You girls decided to wake up. Raining out, so you don't want to come out. Is that your problem? You can do it, you can get wet. There you go. It's only rain, it's only rain, it'll be okay. Bless you. Good stuff. What's the matter, Pluto? You're all wet. You want to go in? We're missing something, guys. Any guesses what it is? Leave it in the comments down below. Alright, so I got the two slabs of pork belly right here. Look at that soon to be bacon that we took out of the freezer. We need to figure out the weight on so we can get our recipe going. All right, we need to make some bacon so we can have some BLT. So we need 32 grams of salt. Okay. 42 grams of brown sugar. <laughs> a lot more on it. Take a pinch out. Three grams of pepper, yes. Takes a lot of pepper because it doesn't weigh anything. Are we gonna do on top? On top of the bacon, on top. Kind of like 
Next one, Libby. You want to do the next one? Sure. Are we going to put it on the other side? Put it on the other side. Uh-oh. You got to wash your hands. Okay, get me for him. <clears throat> That's the... I'll put it right on top. And you can spread it out. There you go. Take that. Love it. Do you want that? I get the sides too, right? Yep. Yeah, I don't worry about the bottom because the bottom's covered with skin. Yeah. So as long as you get this side. Jelly beans? Yeah. You're excited for them? Yeah. You gotta open them? No. <laughs> oh, you want the little one or the big one? I say Olivia's gonna want the big one. We got a good crisp. You got the one right near the garlic. The goats don't touch the grass, so we got to mow in the pen for them. And then we'll put the electric fence back up after. It's getting too high in there for them. Oh, do you girls want to come out and I'll go in there and weed whack your pen? Come out here and enjoy the nice fresh mowed area and I'll go in there. We'll trade. I'm gonna lock you out out there. A little different, ain't it? Do you want to come back in? Does that make you feel better, Willow? Do you like it all nice and freshly weed whacked for you? There you go, you must. You're peeing on it. Is that good? That. It looks good, much better. Yeah, and the goats like it even better. Yeah. They're enjoying it. 
Now that your grass is all mowed, yeah. you feel better? Yeah. Look, okay, everybody's happy. I say the pigs are happy. They're eating grass. Oh, you're looking good. Your apron. Thank you. Nice apron. Thank you. Our friend Jess over at Roots and Refuge sent us up a rue apron for harvesting our vegetables. And it looks like we might all be fighting over it, huh? Yep. Mom's excited for trying it for weeding. For weeding, yep. Yeah. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, she's got an awesome channel. I'm going to put a link to hers right here in the description down below. Thanks, Jess. I think Olivia's having fun. The pigs will probably like it too if you collected apples in it for them. We sent up a question by a modern setter, Michael Bartlett. He wanted to know why we use our two strand electrical fencing for the pigs versus. Premier One's electrical fence for pigs. I like using the two strand electrical fence because it's a lot more inexpensive. It's easy to move. And when you're going over rock walls, it's very easy to change your angles and get it to work on different terrains where your poultry netting's not. And when you're standing back from a distance, you can't even see the fence. At the end of the season, I can roll it back up on its plastic reel and it takes up no little to no storage. The Premier One netting works awesome for animals that you can't keep in with electrical strand wire. So they all have their different purposes. And for the pigs, this is how I really like it. The pigs learn it. You got to train them to it, but they learn it. And if they do touch it, like you just saw, they're not going to try running through it. They're going to turn around and run the other way. There's always different tools for different jobs, and the two-strand fence works best for us, for our pigs, and I definitely highly recommend using the two-strand electrical wire for pigs. It just works really well. So I hope that answered your question, Michael. If not, email me and let me know. If anybody else has any questions, you can find our email down below or on our website. That's where we're going to end today's video, and we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.